Hello and welcome to the Pizza Kitchen. I'm your host, Brian Hernandez, and today I'm joined in the kitchen by John Mazzichelli of Ganella Baking Company. John, welcome to the kitchen, man. Thanks for having me in, Brian. Today, John and I wanted to talk to you about diversifying your pan folio. Pause for laughter. Excellent point aside, guys. Today, we would like to take a little time to talk to you about convenience, diversity, consistency, and ease of use in one of the most important components of any pizza, the dough. But before we dive in, John, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, Ganella Baking Company, and what you guys do for the industry? Yeah, absolutely, Ryan. So I'm John from Ganella Baking. Ganella Baking Company has been around since 1886. It's a family owned and operated uh, baking company based out of uh, Illinois. Uh, we cover anything from ciabattas, pretzel rolls, brioche hamburger buns, both thawed and also frozen. And one of the things we'll be talking about today is obviously pizza. Wonderful. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what we're gonna be making today? Absolutely, so today we're gonna to be working on a grandma style pizza pie. Basically it was Italian grandmothers wanted to give their family a taste of the old country. And what they would do is they'd take a lot of all natural ingredients and kind of made, made by hand. One of the traditional styles of it is gonna be kind of a little bit thinner than a Sicilian. And we're gonna be using a 12 by 12 inch Lloyd's pan for our bake today. Um, it's got a nice low profile to it, which okay. lends a nice crust on, the, on that pizza dough as well. So what are we gonna need for this pie ingredient wise? First off, we're gonna be starting out with some extra virgin olive oil, where they're gonna be looking at our low moisture mozz, some fresh mozzarella, grandma sauce, we got some oregano, whole milk ricotta, basil, and finally, Parmesan cheese for dusting. Let's get to it, man, why are we waiting? What do we do first? So we're just gonna brush it with a little bit of olive oil, and this is just what I like to do for myself. For this style of pan pizza dough, we do actually bake olive oil into it as well when we make it. Then we're gonna start with our uh, low moisture mozz. Just gonna put that all over it. Good, for a second I thought you were gonna leave a spot bare and I was gonna have to tell you that's, that's not how pizzas are made. Next we're gonna bring out our fresh mozz. And then as a traditional grandma fashion, we do use the sauce after the cheese. But I kinda just ladle the sauce on, just kinda almost haphazardly in a way. <laughs> Jackson Pollock saucing. Yes. So, I mean, if you put racing stripes on a grandma pizza, does that take away the grandma effect of it, honestly? It might take a little bit. Some people might look a little bit like it's like, hey, this is a little bit looking like a Detroit or something like that. <laughs> and I'll do just a little bit of oregano, but I know a little goes a long way. All right, so simple, rustic. We're ready to go now. Um, we're gonna stick it in our oven. Yep, how hot and for how long? So we got this set at 500 degrees and this one's gonna bake for about, uh, I believe we came up to about like 14 minutes. Up okay. From there. Yep. Um, but obviously, as you guys all know, all ovens are gonna vary. Uh, and not every single oven is exactly the same. All right, well, let's get it in there. Sounds good. All right, now we've got a few minutes while our pizza's baking. Why don't you tell us a little bit more about the Ganella Baking Company? Yeah, absolutely. So what we're actually using here for our, our grandma style pizza dough, we're using a 17.75 ounce clean label pan pizza dough ball. And we really formulated it to work with both veteran and new users alike. We wanted to design a pizza dough that would kind of work for anything from pan pizzas, Sicilian, obviously grandma style, and even with a little bit of work, some Detroit style as well. Kind of taking the hassle out of it for these guys. Absolutely, absolutely. I know making pizzas can get a little bit complicated and we wanted to take the com complexity out of the making the dough, which is a very important process of the pizza, and just kind of keep it a little bit fun. There's a bunch of science behind what makes good dough. What goes into your dough that makes it you know, stand apart? So we actually are formulated this dough that we're using up to five days in the cooler, which is actually a pretty long time for dough to stay alive and consistent. Yeah, but you say that. Is this official? Is there paperwork? Did some organization stamp this? Absolutely. So all of our dough products are certified by the BRC, AIB, and then also all of our products that know our kosher as well. All right. I know a lot of those letters. They're good letters. Now we've got our pizza out of the oven. What are the next steps to finish this guy? So next steps, we're going to put our whole milk ricotta droplets on there. We're going to put a little bit of our basil on there as well. Now all we got to do is cut it and eat it, right? Absolutely. Well, yeah. let's go. Let's do it. Hearing some good crunch there. I'm liking that. So we got a good rise on ours. Um, I want to look at some of this crumb structure over here, though. 
Yeah, some good development in there, some good cavernous spots. Um, the integrity is great. You see how it's all attached to each other and I can just feel it. It feels moist and ready to go. I'm gonna do it. Should I do it? I'm gonna do it. Mm -hmm. I can taste that olive oil. I know we put a lot on the pizza, but yep. in the dough you can actually get it. It's really Absolutely. good. Yep. And I'm gonna flip over here. It's a huge crust, but there's like nothing in there. It's just, it's 90% air. It's so good. Yeah. So good. Well, there you have it. Flavorful, easy, cost-busting way to add new styles of pizza to your menu or even just test out recipes. And they're perfect for pop-ups and festivals. Canela Clean Label Pan Pizza Dough can even help convenience stores, bars, college food courts, and more add a pizza component. These dough balls are oven ready in eight hours, taking up less time and space in your cooler, allowing quick service and full service restaurants alike the ability to add high quality pizzeria level pizza to their menus without the hassle and costs of making your own dough. It's like having your very own commissary. From Grandma to Detroit, Ganella's Clean Label Pan Pizza Dough can help you expand your menu with no additional labor using one single product. I want to thank our guest, John Mazzichelli, for coming all the way from the Windy City to visit the Pizza Kitchen and for bringing us such tasty treats from Ganella. It truly has been a delicious day, John. Thank you very much. Thank you, Brian. Uh, any final thoughts about Ganella before we head out? Yeah, sure. Uh, feel free to check out Ganella at landing.ganella.com. We got a number of different products. We got some uh, frozen dough balls, obviously some of the pizza ones we worked with, and also some other style Italian breads as well. I truly encourage all of you to check out Ganella's full line of pizza doughs along with their other products and see if they work for you in your pizza kitchen. Well, that's all the time we have today in our kitchen. I'm your host, Brian Hernandez, and I'll see you next time. But until then, say hi to grandma for me. All right, well, thanks so much. See you guys later. Thank you, guys.